I grew up uh, with parents who took us to church and participated in the life of our local church on a regular basis. Both of my parents were Sunday school teachers. Uh, they taught us uh, the Bible even at home. And I knew by the time I was ready to graduate from high school that the Lord had uh, a plan for me in some type of Christian ministry, but I did not know how that would look going forward. Pastoral care looks like going when someone has a need. Uh, I go. I go to the hospital. I go to uh, residential facilities to nursing homes, I go to private homes, I get on the phone and I talk, or I listen as someone else talks. Pastoral care is there to meet the needs of people who are hurting. When I go to meet with people uh, in whatever setting that is, and I am there and I meet with them and I pray with them, listen to them, it is as if Christ himself has been with them and that people have expressed to me that knowing that they are not alone in their circumstance because Christ himself has come to them through me, for instance, makes them know that they are not abandoned, they will never be left, and that Christ himself holds them by his righteous right hand and walks with them through whatever circumstance they are facing, whatever fear they are experiencing, and can alleviate that because he is with them. You know, pastoral care is a gift that's given not just to ordained pastors, but is also given to people who follow Christ faithfully. There are those in our congregation, for instance, who feel compassion for others and their unique situations. And they have asked how they can be part of offering compassionate listening and care to others. Here at First Methodist Mansfield, we have a ministry called Care Chaplains. And we have quite a few people who serve in that area going out, visiting with folks in the hospital or in facilities or in their homes to be the face, hands, and compassion of Jesus Christ. There are others in our congregation who feel that call, I have no doubt. And we would love for you to come and talk to us about how you can be that compassionate presence of Christ to others who are in need.